Hey man, Sammy, and it's your boy J Man back at again with a brand new video on the channel. Today we're gonna be talking about Patrick Beverly and the criticism he's been getting for, I guess, holding Chris Paul accountable. I guess now since Chris Paul is just a, a certified legend and an all-time great, he can't be talked about anymore because he doesn't do anything wrong, I guess. Um let me just say this before I start the video off. Before anybody thinks I'm saying Chris Paul's not a good player, no, he's an outstanding player. All-time legend, arguably a top 10 point guard of all time. He's pop, he, well, not arguably. He is in the top 10 point guards of all time where he's ranking at. That, that's up for y'all to decide where he ranks, but I know for a fact he's the top 10 point guard of all time. Um, multiple all-star selections, all-NBA selections, defense selections, all-defense selections. He's a legend. For sure. There's no argument about that. But with what happened within the past two years and his track record of not performing well in the playoffs, not being reliable to play in the playoffs, always being hurt in the playoffs, and especially what transpired a couple days ago, you need to be held accountable, Chris Paul. Um, I'm getting real tired of Matt Barnes because Matt Barnes is the same guy who went at Kwame Brown a couple months ago. <laughs> well, we traded Mark, Mark Gasol, yeah, that's what people, right? People, oh, you got him for nothing, not yeah. realizing that what you guys gave oh, yeah. him was Mark Gasol. And Kwame Brown. And yeah. so... Mark um, Gasol. And... Right. Um, Mark so, oh, do you play with Mark? <laughs> no. No. no, no this, that was oh. a one-man trade. You just <laughs> used the name. He was the name. which just there. So, you know, Kevin Durant went at Pat Bev. Damian Lillard went at Pat Bev. You know, they kind of said he's kind of not... I wouldn't say he's not able to talk, but like they're not, you know, they're not too fond of him talking. And then Danny Green came out in an interview today. Bro, people target you too, Pat Bev. You ain't playing no defense out there. You ain't stopping Luca. This time and time again, I see Luca call your ass little man. He's too small and go right at you every chance he got. You're a cone. When you play Luca, you're a cone too. How would you like that? Yeah. Is this yeah, recording? Think, is this recording? Is this recording? It is. is this recording? It's recording. It's still recording. Put it out there. <laughs> yeah, put that out there. I say yeah. it. I'll say it twice. <laughs> My thing is less of Pat Bev talking bad about Chris Paul. It's more of let's hold Chris Paul accountable. Like let's like let's let's really hold him accountable. But let's not act like Chris Paul has the most 2-0 leads. He's blown the most 2-0 leads out of any player. They pulled up the stat of it. When he's up 2-0, he has the league all-time leading losses. In series. I don't give a damn about coaching. I don't give a damn about none of that. Before, I gave Chris Paul props. But, oh, was I talking shit about him blowing that lead against Milwaukee? Hell yeah. He should not blow it. You up 2-0. You got complacent. It's a, it's, it's a very common trend for Chris Paul to get complacent in the playoffs. You haven't noticed? You haven't noticed? At all, how he goes up 2-0 and how he somehow blows these goddamn leads. And every team, every team he's on always talks shit when they up, but as soon as they start losing, they tuck their tail between their legs and they just want to play basketball now. They just want to play basketball. They don't they don't want to get into they don't want to get into the rah-rah shit no more. Every team he's on, they get like that. Every team. When are we gonna start holding this dude accountable? I'm not hearing, I'm not hearing that shit no more, bro. I'm not hearing it. Because when James Harden don't perform well, y'all hold him accountable. When LeBron don't play well, y'all hold him accountable. When Russ play well, y'all do more than hold him accountable. I don't give a fuck what y'all got to say about Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook ain't playing how Chris Paul did this series. He not doing it. At some point, you gotta play for your fucking pride. Luka would've got held accountable. Steph would've got held accountable. Kyrie and KD are getting fucking killed for getting killed by Boston. Giannis got killed when he couldn't make. Giannis was getting killed when he lost to Kawhi. Giannis was getting killed when he lost to Miami. Jimmy Butler was getting killed when he lost to Milwaukee. DeMar DeRozan was getting killed when he lost to LeBron. And Kyle Lowry. When are we gonna start holding this dude accountable? When are we gonna start doing it? I don't give a damn if he was a part of the NBA Player Association. I don't give a damn about none of that. 
He played dirty. He manipulate calls. He don't play the... He get away with shit. And y'all let him get away with it. Why? I don't know. But I tell you what. Y'all can, can go at me all y'all want in these comment sections. I swear to God, I'm going to reply to every last one of y'all. It's not flying. It's not flying. He don't get no passes no more. The nigga went from his first eight games of the playoffs from 22 and 14 to 9 and 6. And I respect you like I said in the beginning of the video. But right now, I'm not going for this shit because niggas is... Niggas is defending you like you can't do no wrong and I'm not fucking with that. I'm not fucking with that. Because me, I hold everybody accountable. Russ is my guy. I hold him accountable. He had a he had a poor season. Is it all on him? No. But did he play the best? Hell no. Did James Harden play the best? Hell no. Did LeBron have a good season? Yes, but it did not contribute to winning basketball, so I hold him accountable. Kevin Durant, great season. But you got swept and same for Kyrie. Y'all had good seasons, but y'all lost. Y'all should have won one game. I'm holding account. I I hold everybody accountable. So I'm not. I, you y'all not finna hit me with. Oh, I just don't like Chris Paul. And to be frank, I don't. But I don't let that. I, I'm not gonna let that per, per, skew my perception of an all-time great player who's a top ten point guard, one of the greatest point guards we've ever seen touch this game. I'm not gonna let that. Dictate that. But when I see him lose and I see everybody saying Pat Bev need to get off his case, why the fuck does he need to get off his case? Because when Paul George was shooting shit off the backboard, y'all were saying playoff P garbage. When Ben Simmons didn't shoot the ball, when he didn't dunk the ball and gave it to fucking Matisse Thibel, y'all said he a choker, he don't want to play, he's not that guy. Right? 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 Why does he get a pass? Why does he get a pass? Because he's Chris Paul? Is it because he's short? Is it because he's the head of the player association at one point? Is it because he has a likable face? I could put in clips right now of Chris Paul being dirty, of kicking niggas in the nuts. Look at this. I want to talk about gut check. Or a little bit below the belt, what. but Westbrook right oh, there is. Uh... Well, we take it back. It, it's been a constant theme here. And Chris Paul, I mean, he got Macklem. Or the play in game in game five of the NBA Finals last year where Giannis was playing on the torn PCL and Giannis was already in the air dunking the ball. And you want to know what this little ass nigga did? Ran right into the nigga. Why? That's not a basketball play. That's not a basketball play. Hold this nigga. Man, hold him accountable, dude. Hold him accountable. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Do you think Pat Bev is going overboard? I don't think he's going overboard. I think he's simply saying, saying, what, saying what people don't want to say. Y'all got to hold him accountable. He hasn't been good on defense for the last couple of years. He hasn't been locking up like he used to, which is, which is reasonable because of his age. But he's not lying. He's not lying. Who are you taking to, who are you taking to get you a stop? Pat Bev or, or Chris Paul? I'm checking Pat Pat every day of the week. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and like the video. Go and subscribe if you're new. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And yeah, man. Other than that, um, <clears throat> Chris Paul, yo ass is grass. He got, I think he got hit in a rather sensitive area is the best way to phrase it. Yep. Yep.